you something just a little bit different this week. One of the things that you all have so graciously been doing is telling me that you want to give me more referrals and asking me for triggers that you can listen for for me to, to notice those moments when uh, would be a good time to introduce me. So what I'm going to talk about today is when to consider a move and there is, there is a lot of um, There's always a lot going on for the people around you, and one of the things to focus on is exactly when those to be um, times to consider a housing change. Sometimes I'll have a person who's a renter, and they want to consider the possible advantages of owning a home, which are tremendous. Um, a promotion offers new lifestyle opportunities, for instance. When you bought the home that you're in now, you may have been making considerably different amount of money from what you'll be making at the promotion, and that just opens up a new world. A marriage, of course, a baby on the way, uh, a different job in a new location, either across uh, another city or across town. I have people call me sometimes and say, I just really want to be able to go home for lunch. That would make a tremendous difference for me. Or I have a 45-minute commute one way right now. And if I could just be closer to home, and I would be, then I'd be able to go home and spend time with the kids, or work on the yard, or do projects, that sort of thing. Um, taking up a new hobby that requires a certain kind of space, such as building an airplane. I actually have a client who said, "I need a house that I can build an airplane in in the basement. It has to be a walkout basement, so I can get the airplane out of the basement." And he had the measurements to the to the inch of what it was going to take in that space, both height and where the poles could and couldn't be. So there are times when a move is, is precipitated by that sort of thing. Uh, combining families to children or parents joining in the household, we're seeing a lot more of that now. Uh, downsizing as children move away from college or jobs. Um, wanting to realize a dream. We, we all have inside us those things that we just know we would really love to have or do. That maybe they've been on the back burner or maybe we just never really thought we could do it. But sometimes a move, a home move can make those possible. Some of those are having a pool or owning a horse. You can, there's a lot of horses in the backyards here in Germantown. Um, it's zoned, we're actually zoned for it. If you have a certain amount of square footage in your yard, you can have a horse in your backyard. So um, I do have people that say, um, help me find a place for my horse in the city limits. Uh, serious gardening, um, owning a lake house to use as a retreat for yourself and others. That's, I know a lot of people that have done that recently for some reason and it's meant so much to them and, and to their friends and, and family members. Um, receiving an inheritance that increases a lot of options. I do get that phone call a whole lot. People say, you know, and now I have whatever that dollar amount of money is, and I can do some things that I never thought I'd be able to do before. Um, always wind on real property. I have people that call me and they say, I never, I want to get rid of my real property. <laughs> but I also have people that call and say that that, that is their dream to actually, actually own, own real property. Hey, times last year I got a call from people that said I, I've rented in the same place for 10 years and I've been month to month for a long long time and my landlord put the house on the market and of course they don't they didn't tell us the tenants because they didn't want us to get upset but now they've sold the house and we've got a month to find a new place to live so actually owning your own home is a it's a it's a big security uh, investment opportunity Purchasing a home in an appreciating area has traditionally been one of the safest long-term investments a person can make. And in a changing market, um, 
for both rooms and primary residences. A look at the return on investment can really be enlightening. We tend to move into our homes a lot of times and just sort of sit there. It's like, like we keep our homeowner's insurance. I have the same homeowner's insurance on my house, I don't know how long, and I didn't realize the rates had crept up until I talked to Robert and I was amazed at what a difference he made for me and my homeowner's insurance. And we do the same things with our houses. We sit there and we don't realize how much equity we've got in the home. We, we don't realize that there are a whole lot of opportunities around us where we might could take our money and invest it and accomplish more of the lifestyle that we want and also have a better investment. Uh, taking advantage of particularly low interest rates. Uh, right now, we have some great interest rates. And these help us get started with the home purchase. They help significantly lower monthly outlay. Um, I'm working with some people this weekend, and they thought they had a wonderful interest rate. It was five and a quarter. They were really happy with it. And they're only going to be in Memphis for two more years. They found out, Marcus, we know about this, that they could get an adjustable rate mortgage for 2.9%. So their buying power just shot up unbelievably and kept them within the range that they wanted to be as far as their monthly note. And a lot of times just sitting down and looking at the opportunities is, is life-changing because you don't really know what's out there until you take the time to consider all the different details of, of what a move could be. Mm -hmm. Whether you're renting or currently own, taking a fresh look at your housing options is a good way to be sure that you're optimizing your assets. And so call me, Sandy Smith, with Call It Realtors. Do you guys have any questions on anything? Where do you see the highest dollar per square foot now currently? I know you focus in Germantown, Collierville, but even inside that, where are you seeing? High Point Terrace is, is some of the highest. Um, okay. Downtown now is getting to be some of the highest. And there's certain areas, in Germantown, it's the smaller houses. Uh, there's a house in my neighborhood that's on the market for $135 a square foot. And it's, you know, it's not in very good condition, which is amazing. In, in downtown, what do you see in square foot? It depends on, it can go 100, I mean, it depends on the amenities. And depends, if it's lower looking the river <laughs> and it's maxed out, I mean, you can go up to $150, $175 a square foot. Thank you so much.